second implication of the word of Newton's first law is the definition of what the force really is. A box at rest stays at rest and a box in motion stays in motion until a force comes along. That would mean that a force essentially is an influence that will cause an object to change its state of motion. So if I put a box at rest, it will remain at rest until that influence causes the box to change its state of motion from rest to moving. For example, we cause an object to move either by what? Pulling or pushing. The pull or push that one object asserts on another is called a force. The pull or a push that one object asserts on another is called a force. Understand that this is a really important. The natural state of motion of a system is when no net force acts on that system. When I use the word no net force, I mean that all the forces, either there is completely no external influence acting on the system, which rarely happens, or that all the forces acting on the system kind of balance each other out. Uh, to give you an example, it's more like you sitting on a seesaw, you on both sides, so the seesaw never moves because you guys balance each other out. Now, um, so keep in mind that a force can therefore be defined as either a pull or a push that one object asserts on another. A pull or a push that one object asserts on another. Forces are measured in Newtons. So the unit of measure of force is the Newton, represented by capital N. Another property of forces which I think is very important is the fact that forces are directional. If I push you, I will push you in a particular direction. If I pull you, I will pull you in a particular direction. That means that forces have a magnitude. I can either push you too hard or too soft, and it has a direction. I can either push you to the right or to the left, or I can push you too hard to the right or too soft to the left. So that qualifies forces to be vectors. A vector is a quantity in science that has both a magnitude and a, a direction. When I use the word magnitude, I simply mean size, like big, small, medium. When I use the word direction, I mean direction, like to the right, to the left, or to the north, due south, due east, or due west. So if I say that I have exerted a force of 10 newtons to the right, the 10 signifies the size, and to the right signifies its direction. So each time you mention a force, it is always a good idea to state both its size, which is represented by a pure number, and its direction. Either due north, due south, to the right, to the left, up or down. Um, 